ओके वेलकम इन दिस सेशन ब्रीफ सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट ए सिंपल सी प्रोग्राम ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इट वन सी प्रोग्राम हाउ लेट अस ट्राई टू राइट दैट प्रोग्राम दिस इज दिस एनवायरनमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट व्हिच यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट कॉल्ड एज गिनी कैन डाउनलोड इट एंड इंस्टॉल इट Uh, this is the first time i am using it this is the first time i am using it i am also new to it but let us try let us try uh, how to write that program and how to execute how to execute there will be some minor variations between different programming environments in fact we will study briefly about programming environments later so before we write actual serious programs uh, we will be studying about the programming environments also but because uh, different people will be working in different environments now uh, because of corona because of uh, maybe we are living in the rural background or maybe may not be having the system uh, you may be using the cell phone so different programming environments are required we will discuss about the programming environments that you may use even in the cell phone if it is on the system how to use the programming environments so those things we will discuss that are but for the time being let's, let us just try to execute that program execute that program type that program and execute that program let us see how to do it so gani id environment uh, so you should get yourself to familiar with these uh, menu items uh, not all the items so some items so let first let us start file new So let us create a new file. Let's close that one. File new. Okay. After that, after that, uh, let us type this program. Hash. What is the first statement? Preprocessor directories. Preprocessor directories in the form of hash. To the studio dot h. So here, whenever I am typing the program, sometimes I may make mistakes. sometimes i may make mistakes uh sometimes i may make mistakes intentionally also intentionally also so you have to identify you have to be active you have to identify what are the mistakes i am making so sometimes it is required sometimes it is required so i have included the preprocessor directive hash include stdio.h because i am doing some input output i need to include stdio.h hash include stdio.h so as you type some 10 programs you will uh, get accustomed to it it's not a problem so will we are writing int main uh, for this environment uh, the, we had to write this uh, int before main So that is required. Again, as I already told you, different programming uh, environments uh, have different uh, uh, requirements. Minor variations, minor variations will be there. So, but you can remember uh, the same for all the programs. If you consider this uh, environment, it is uh, same. So you have to write int main, not void main or just main. So opening for brackets. After that, you can declare. Can declare the variables here. A say B say C. Three variables. Statement terminator. Statement terminator. After that, what we have done? We have assigned some twenty to this one. A and B is assigned some say thirty. Okay. so because we had we are declaring a b c as integers you have to assign integer value you cannot write 20.5 generates an error message so after that what we did we computed the sum of a and b c equal to a plus b and after that we have printed the value of c so for that you have to use the printf statement printf statement and uh, the details of printf statement we will study later for the time being here uh, printf followed by within the parentheses uh, within the double quotes you have to write percentage d 
percentage d whenever you are printing integers so depending on what you are printing it may vary so c okay that's what so this is the program okay now let us try to execute it so let us try to first save it so again you can go here and uh, type say so let us save it as x2 dot c x2 dot c x2 dot c Some issue with saving uh, discuss it later as I already told you it is the first time I am using not familiar with this one but anyhow you have you should be able to come you should be comfortably able to use different programming environments please note that to be able to use different programming environments in fact the be best way is to work in Linux environment the best way is working in the Linux environment there also we will see but whatever may the programming environment your program is not going to change your program will remain the same so now we have done it what we'll do is uh, we'll choose compile say choose compile okay compilation finished successfully compilation finished successfully here it seems uh, because build is there let us first build it uh, build may involve this linking etc okay, build is also completed next go to build and run good so here you can see 50 is printed 50 is printed so what what is this exit code 0 what is this present we will see later so 50 is printed okay 50 is printed so the program is executing correctly so what we have written here we have included this stdao.h header file and then this mandatory function but here you should write it as int main to main that means it returns here it's better you write 10 0 here because when the program is exiting successfully, it returns zero. Let us try it again. Let us try it again. So we are getting correct output. So program exited with code zero. So code zero indicates success. If it is something else, that means there is some problem. Okay, this is the program. I hope it is clear to you. Let us just try to experiment. Now, what happens uh, if we remove this A, this C? So, C is a strongly typed language. We discussed it. So, that means all the program variables should be declared. Now, if we don't declare, 
error, error message has to be generated. So let us see what happens. Compile. Uh, you can see that error message is uh, generated. Error C undeclared. So please try to follow the compiler messages. So appropriate perfect error messages are generated by the compiler. Compiler is written by highly intelligent people. Use task as actually. So it is written by good people, particularly the standard compilers are written by good people. And uh, whenever you commit a mistake, uh, the exact mistake will be conveyed to you. Based on that one, you can correct. So here, so C72, C72 means here, okay. Seventh line. You, do, you don't bother too much about the column. First, we have used tab character, etc. How it treats is a different issue. So, seventh line. So, what is happening on the seventh line? Here, the error is indicating. So, you can see the red mark here also, a red line, some red line indicating it is error. So, C. So, here program is executing, but when it encoded C, it checks whether uh, C is declared or not. No. That's why it is generating the error message. So the error message is not declared. So now what happens? So I declared it. Compile. Fine. Fine. Now suppose let us remove this semicolon. Semicolon should be there. Let us check again. So again, what is happening? Warning. Uh, warning. Let us not bother about bother about it. Error. Expected semicolon port uh, C. So you, you may get warning messages and error messages. There, there will be two kinds of messages: warning messages and error messages. So warning messages you can neglect for the time being. Okay, they will not prevent uh, your program from executing. But error messages you have to correct. So here you can see it is exactly specifying. It seems very good compiler. So exactly specifying that semicolon is missing here. Expected semicolon. So here exactly after 30. So you can type it. So like that, you can write a simple C program. Simple C program. So it's not difficult according to the information i got uh, uh, it is better to use any there are other uh, programming environments also other programming environments turbo c is there we generally use turbo c but in that uh, every time some disk related messages will be generated every one minute two minutes uh, it will be coming so for video recording uh, not appropriate that's why i, have tr I try to choose other one we will discuss one online compiler which you can use from your uh, system or from your mobile also and then we will use this environment and if possible other environments also we are going to try we are going to try but again remember don't get confused so your program is going to remain the same only how to execute may vary so, but everything is nowadays is menu driven so you can do it easily and you driven so you can you do it easily okay this is your first c program we will stop here